Woo! It is freaking hot in Arizona. Golly. You kind of forget how freaking warm these places are. Like the, I see all my buddies posting and everything online or on social media and stuff like that. Like 120 degrees, 126 degrees, like in their cars and stuff. And you kind of just forget what that really feels like. You get a little used to the California weather. Obviously, where where uh, where we're at, it's freaking 80 degrees on a hot day and stuff like that. But ah, you know what it is, of course. Back in Yuma, like always, getting to work on the on my baby i'm excited to finally be able to take my car home i've i've had the razors for a few years and i've never taken it with me it always just sits here at my dad's place more so just convenience like uh most of the time when i go riding i'll be at my dad's house or around glamis or yuma or these night rides and stuff like that but i really want to enjoy these things we pay so much money for uh, for them i really want to enjoy it like in cali or in different areas you know so the razors pretty much done for now obviously except the cage because my brother has time for everybody but not for me so it is what it is I'm almost to the point like I you know like maybe I just go ahead and powder coat this and get going with the color scheme that I want to go with this and you know just maybe rock an SDR cage I, I'm not sure I just there's little minor adjustments that I would like to make and that's why I want my brother's cage you know, I like uh, my brother's cage isn't as aggressive of a bend right here. Minor thing. Obviously, it's my brother's cage, so I would love to support him. You know, that's what it's all about. Be, make it like a tiny bit lower, uh, especially because I just have babies with me all the time. I normally don't have adults, so I can get away with dropping the cage like another inch or two in the back, which in sense turns or drops the front down another inch or so. You know, this bar, I don't know why SDR does this. If you guys can see but this bar my seats all the way back already and this bar comes back uh, an extra few inches so like when my wife gets in or even the boys this bar ends up sitting pretty close to them and i'm just kind of curious why even i guess with lowering brackets which i do have i just haven't put them on these because i'm getting my prp seats i'm kind of curious with lowering brackets and with like a full uh suspension seat like maybe it'll fill it in more I, i'm not i'm not exactly sure but just minor little changes that i would like to have you know rocking with my brothers or rocking my brother's cage but there's a big night ride like 40 cars today um maybe 40 plus i don't know we'll probably end up with like the same typical 10 15 cars because as soon as we get going people get lost people go too slow people take the wrong turns and then you end up freaking somewhere else with a whole different group of people so I'm gonna get to work. I got some Evo goodies. Um, got the blow off valve, got the charge tube. Um, really, that's it. I wanna make some adjustments to my clutch because, like, I took away the heavy duty spring, but it still engages, like, kind of rough. So, I'm assuming that's just based off the adjustments that were made for the heavy duty spring. So, uh, I'll probably mess with that and just get it ready for tonight. So, should be a good one. I'm gonna get to work now. Took advantage of that evil sale they had like a couple weeks ago, like 25% off or something like that for their charge tube. So got that. I wish they were able to apply that to a black one, but it was just for like their different colors, not the black, which whatever. I mean, it'll stand out a little bit, but nothing too much. And I also uh, got their new and improved blow off valve so i'm pretty excited to get this thing on there just to have that little noise it sounds kind of cool you know and as always the freaking stickers you know makes all your purchases worth it you know as long as you get some stickers it's all gucci big difference right there mm. well Kind of hard to see. You can see the little evil blow of valve right there, the little evil marking. Obviously, the charge too. Kind of a pain in the butt to get on, but my last car ran aftermarket assassins and they run an aluminum charge tube. And that thing was a disaster to get on because there's no flexibility in aluminum, obviously. And you have the bed right there so close, it freaking sucks. So, this time I decided to, and the only reason I went AA on my last one was because Evo was out of stock on these at that time. So, I just said, ah, whatever. But, you know, I kind of don't know. Evo claims silicone is better to dissipate heat. 
AA claims aluminum and AA runs like an aluminum charge tube, aluminum intake, while Evo does silicone charge tube and silicone intake. I'm a fan of Evo stuff. They have like, they look clean. This one I'm just doing all Evo, whatever. Uh, gonna clean up the clutch and put the cover back on and that should be it. My pops came through and closed the doors and turned the AC on so I wouldn't be struggling, so. Yeah.